Salutations and good morning everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I'm going to be going through and showing you guys how to access both of the new secret chests that have gotten added to the Grounded Hot and Hazy update. This is a little bit of a spoiler video guys just so you guys know so if you guys aren't looking to be spoiled by the 10, the 11.0 update or anything that's in the Hot and Hazy update make sure you guys go ahead and just click that like button and I'll see you guys a little bit later on and thank you so much for watching but what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be going out and getting the Minotaur key and also the Melted key so we can access not only the chest that is on top of the minotaurs and myrmidons gift uh board game but also the the chest that's inside of the moat so we're going to start today by going through and fighting the assistant manager so the assistant manager you need to fight him because you need to get his key card so you blow this glass open it's going to set off a little bit of an alarm in here it's a pretty good alarm actually so you're going to activate that and then you're going to fight the assistant manager. I'm not going to have you guys watch this entire fight because I only have this uh, this spear and it's going to take a long time for me to be able to work him down. So I will meet you guys when I have taken him out completely. Alrighty, now that the assistant manager is dead and that was tons of fun and I got attacked a whole bunch and that took about, I don't know, five minutes to get through of punching and using different tools. But there, now we got the assistant manager key card and that is what is important in this um, area that's here. That's why we went through all this because you need this one in order to unlock a certain riddle. So let's run over there and let's look at the riddle now. The alarm is still going off. That's kind of bumming me out. I hope I can turn that off somehow. Let's try going through this door and see if it works. Alrighty, so here we are running up at the Sandbox Lab Outpost. This is an important one, guys. So once you get the Assistant Manager key card that I was telling you guys about, you want to run over to this outpost that is right here. You'll see that there is a button to use the Assistant Manager key card in order to open this guy up. So you go ahead and open her on up and run on inside. And you'll notice that here is the Mysterious Burgle Chip. So you're gonna grab that guy. Okay, once in here, guys, you're gonna run over here, look at all the stuff that's in there, grab the Mysterious Burgle Chip off of the door. And then right here, you're gonna run over and you are going to see a whiteboard that a lot of you guys may just run past unless you know you're specifically looking for a riddle that is on this board. So on this board, it shows off a couple things. It shows a clock, it shows a key with a keyhole, it shows a shovel, and it shows a castle with what looks to be underwater and a chest. This is where a chest is hidden, okay? Be careful because it's trying to show you that there is antlions inside of this chest. And apparently some other things may end up in that chest as or in this sand castle as well. But for now, let's focus the chest. If you read this, it looks like the time points to either, um, what would that be, 315, 330? or it would be pointing to 615, but it's actually pointing to 330. That's how you need to know what time you need to go to. So if we go over to military time, it's actually 1530 is what you're looking for. Then if you look, you have the shovel here with the sun pointing to it and an X inside of that. That means that at 330 or 1530 in game, you need to dig right inside of the shadow that is cast in the middle of that key. So there's going to be a small little light inside of that key. You need to dig right there, right at that time in order to get the melted key. So what we're going to do is we are going to run out here and we are going to wait for that key to become visible. So you want to run right over here and it's this big yellow shovel that's right here. All right. And what you want to do is you want to wait for it to become 3.30. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put up a quick lean-to so we can skip through a whole bunch of time here. There we go. Lean-to. Uh, that looks about safe. So we're going to sleep right there. Wait till morning. Perfect. And now we are on a waiting game until about 3.15. Okay? So... As a spoiler, we're going to be about right over in this area when 315 comes. So I'm just going to wait right now until it's about 315 and then we will work on it from there. Actually, guys, thinking about it, we might as well go get the other key and the other chest while we're waiting because I believe that we can get this. I know it's a little bit out of order. All right. But I think that we can do this in the meteor while we are waiting for it to become 315. So in order to get this other key for the Minotaurs and Myrmidons chest, you need to run over to this location that's right over here. So jump on down this way, run through the forest, and I'll open up the map here in just a second to show you guys exactly where I am so you guys don't miss this one. Wow, they really have been working on this area over here, adding even more. But this pipe right over here is the one that you are looking for. All right, so 
See, exposed pipe. What you will need if you are going to go in here is you will need um, a level two dagger. So let me just go ahead and get myself a quick workbench put up. Come on. Anywhere. Anywhere. Any there we go. All right. Let me get that. I'm going to get myself a really quick tier two dagger. So I'm just going to grab the spider fang dagger. That works. And just for funsies, I'm also going to grab a water lantern just to make it so it's light for me. All right, so let's hop down in the water. So you'll go into the water and you will take a right. All right, and then there's this little divot that's right here underwater. Go ahead and equip your slime lantern and your knife and then go for a swim. Go off to the left this direction and right here you'll find some soggy roots. Just go ahead and cut those guys away. It takes just a couple chops, about four or five of them to cut through. All right, nice. And then grab your Minotaur Maze key. All right. So all in all, I'm right here at this exposed pipe and you drip, you go down just a little bit inside of the water in order to be able to find this guy. All right, now that you have that, run back on out this way and now you wanna get on top of the table. Now, a lot of you guys know that you can just build up to the table. There's also one other small way to get up there. It's by throwing a bomb at a very specific rock and knocking over a shovel. We're gonna do that just because I really like the way that that works in this game. I think it's really cool that they added something like that in the game, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So go right here, go to my inventory because I am playing on Creative with Bugs. Make yourself a quick splat burst because you can and throw that guy at that rock and then it's gonna blow up and knock this shovel on over, boom. I'm really hoping we get a really cool sound effect at some point for that. All right, run up the shovel. And ready? Once you're all the way up the shovel, jump off to the left, run past everything that's over here. There's lots of stuff, but you wanna run past it. Okay. And running back over this way, you want to run to the back of the picnic table because it'll help you get up. So let's also get rid of that torch in your hand there, Pete, because it's light enough out where you don't need a torch anymore. All right. So hop on down onto this plank, run across over here. A couple nails are going to appear right here. And you're going to hop up on the nails and run up over to there towards the cooler. I've done this before in another video, but I figured I'd show you guys exactly how to do this step by step. Run all the way up here. If you can, make yourself a really quick tier 2 hammer because you're going to need it, by the way. I probably should have said that earlier in the video that you're going to need a tier 2 hammer in order to do this. But you can also just build up here as well if you wanted to. All right, grab yourself your tier 2 hammer. And hit this big red button with your tier 2 hammer. Alright, inventory, tier 2 hammer, smacky smacky, perfect. The cooler box handle falls down, and here you are at the Minotaur and Myrmidons playset. This makes me very happy, and also, if you guys didn't know, a really, really good friend of mine, obi Burt Kenobi, has been streaming over on Twitch, and he's been making a base inside of here. By He turned this entire thing into a huge storage, which is awesome. All right, follow the exact path that I just did for the quickest path over here. Go on in here, and here is your chest right here. When you unlock it, it's going to open up and you're going to have a couple things in here. You are going to have a mega milk molar and you are going to have a picnic burgle chip. All right. Go ahead and grab both of those for a really quick way out of here, guys. Just follow this path back a little bit. Go through the way that you came in, but this time just follow around and run up this feather if you haven't already um, destroyed it and you should be able to run straight across and get out of here. But yeah, so there's the Minotaur's maze end. It's not that difficult to get through. But now what we're going to do is we are going to make our way back over to the sandbox. That way we can show you guys where the hidden other treasure chest and key is. So let's do that now. Alrighty, so here we are back inside of the very dangerous sandbox for us to be able to play in. Currently, it is still 9.20 in the morning. I was able to pull that other key off in three hours. That's not bad. So 
we are going to run over here and we are going to wait for a little while until it becomes 1530 and then we will be checking out the location of this key and then running over and showing you guys what's in the other chest. All right, so at just about, uh, we are just about there at the 5.30 mark, so it's about 5.15 right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our shovel, and we're going to come over here, and we are going to wait. So as this slowly will adjust, okay, as it's slowly moving to 5.30 or 3.30, it's going to slowly move right over here, and you should be able to dig up your wonderful treasure. It's going to start shining here in just a second. And 1530, and there you go, buried treasure. So you're just going to head and start digging up right here, and you will get the melted key for your character to grab. So the melted moat key, once you have that melted moat key, by the way, this is the location on the map that you need to stand. If I zoom way in, it's right here looking around. Just as a spoiler for you guys, that's where you got to stand. All right. Now, the melted moat key goes all the way over here in the sandbox. So I'm going to hightail it over to the sandbox over here. That way you guys can see exactly where it's going to go. Be careful because you will run past a lot of ant lions over here. Uh, the sandbox is not an easy place to be. But once you're over here all the way, just go ahead and jump on into the moat of the sandcastle and swim around to the back side of it. Okay? At the back side of the sand castle, you will find a very, very large chest underwater. So there it is. It's starting to come into view. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just swim on over here and grab this good old little chest right here. Open that up. And sadly, for now, the only thing that's in here is a standard milk molar. I know that they're planning on adding more to this chest in the future, but for right now, that is how you access that chest. And that is both of the secret chests that are currently in grounded in the hot and hazy update. I know that there is another secret chest over in the pond, but for this video, we're focusing on the two that were added in this newest update. But thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button for me. To let me know you guys want to see more. I know this video is kind of all over the place, and that's okay, because if you follow these steps either for one or the other you will be able to get both of the, the keys in the game so thank you all so much make sure you guys hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one